All right, number three, uh, for the experiment of drawing a single card from a standard 52 card deck, we're gonna do two parts. So A, find the probability of the event below, and B, the odds in favor of the given event. So we wanna find king or ace. All right, so if you're not familiar with playing cards, it will be very helpful for you to uh, see what a sample space looks like. So I'm gonna Google uh, card sample space all right and let's just uh, pick one of these images maybe this one will, will be fine can I make this a little bit bigger nope it took me some completely different uh, I just want to blow up one of these images here we go so here is a sample space of cards. There are four suits, clubs, spades, hearts, and diamonds. There are 13 cards in each suit, starting with ace, which is the highest, or it can be counted as a low card. So you can count this as the number one, one, two, three, four, one through 10, basically. And then you have jack, queen, and king. All right, so this is the sample space. All right, I'm gonna come back to this in just a minute. We want an ace or a king. Okay, ace or king, either one. All right, so or, um, as mentioned, means add them up. So there are one, two, three, four kings and one, two, three, four aces. So there's eight out of the 52. All right. So king or ace, um, generally it's written like this. P stands for probability. And then we will write king, so K or a for ace all right there are eight of kings or aces out of 52 this reduces if you divide both of these by four uh, to be two out of 13 all right so this is the probability now the odds separate these into two different groups so if I look at 13 cards and two of them are ace or king so this is how this works um, so out of these 13 let's just do one group there is one ace and one king there's two so ace and king there's two cards out of these 13 it's the same for every group so there's four groups when you reduce it you get two out of 13 so the odds take these two in a separate group and then the other remaining cards in a separate group so we have two separate groups so odds would look like this we take these two that's one group and then the 13 total minus those two give us 11 so odds we would write as 2 colon 11 or we can say 2 2 11 sometimes they write it like this 2 over 11 usually when we write it vertical that's probability odds you separate into groups so you take the number on top subtract it from the bottom number and you write those two separately okay so first we want the probability which will be 2 divided by 13 and next we want odds so they write it in this form alright so 2 to 11 now we put what they ask for first so how do you know to put the 2 first not the 11 you do it based on what they ask for so they want king or an ace the odds in favor of the event king or ace so king or ace comes first and then the other cards come second 